Hey y'all, it's Jessica with Army Wife Knitting Life Podcast. Today is Vlogmas Day 6. Yay, and I apparently sound like Levi from WTF Knitting because I am now starting to sing everything. So, how is everyone St. Nicholas Day? I got two things from St. Nicholas. Both are chocolate, so I am not going to complain. First off, I got Kinder Eggs. What these say is that they are a magic wick, witches. Hexen is witch, magic is magic. And it's guaranteed to have two figurines in there. So there are going to be actually four Kinder Eggs in here that are all girl toys. Shows what some of the figurines are that you can get. Kinder Eggs are technically for children, but they taste delicious and I love them. And since you can't exactly get them in the States the way that they have them here, I want to enjoy them while I can. The other thing is a bit more of a grown-up chocolate. Not dirty. Get your minds out of the gutter, guys. I got Belgian chocolates. Yum. They're truffles. And they're dusted in cocoa powder. And absolutely delicious. I have eaten about half the box today, which I probably shouldn't do. So before I forget though, I forgot to grab my yarn calendar for today. So give me a second. Yes, yes, I know my background is still messy. I'm working on the floor right now. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to sort all of my yarn and I'm doing it first by color. So all of my different weights of yarn are going to all go in one for colors except for sock yarn. Sock yarn gets its own laundry basket. And as I said yesterday, it's full. So I'm trying to sort through everything so I can figure out where I want to put it all and how I want to organize it and put it away. So. Yesterday, I told you I was going to start a feed your hat for one of my husband's co-workers before the office Christmas party in the Brava Bulky Mulberry colorway. I finished it. I have done one of these hats before. I absolutely love the pattern. Uh, it's done with a chart, but it's a very simple chart to read. And I can tell you that because this is my first ever chart that I ever read was for the first hat. <laughs> And it's very simple. I I didn't have any questions about it. Uh, they also um, write down the instructions in the pattern. Uh, not like for row one, do this. But they tell you how to read the chart in the pattern itself so that you're not lost. So I really appreciate that. So that was went from in a ball to a cake and into a hat in less than 24 hours. Yay! So that's done one thing out of the way for the party because I still haven't figured out what I'm going to wear yet and I have to wrap our gift for our white elephant. The other thing that I've been working on because starting and finishing a project in a day just isn't enough for me apparently. I cast on and worked on my sock. So this is Witch's Brew and I don't know why there's a progress keeper. It was just hanging out, chilling. So this is a progress keeper from Arkansas Yarn Company. And I just use it so that um, until I get to the heel, I can tell what's my front side and what's my back side. So that's what I've been doing. And then <sighs> the nutcracker. I have yarn coming off my bag. How lovely. I told y'all yesterday that the nutcracker is special. This is it. This is my nutcracker bag from Bags by Awesome Granny. See, there is her little fob. I love this bag. This is the one that Honey Bee Knits is trying to match for a custom colorway. I have it, and I also have the Notions pouch. How cute! Nutcracker is a big thing for me because one of my first Christmas memories that I ever have, I was in preschool at the CDC, which is the Child Development Center at Fort Leavenworth in Kansas, 
and there was a production that came by with a ballet of the Nutcracker. So our entire class got to go, even though we're little. Uh, our teacher very much believed in the arts and starting young so that you can grow to appreciate. So um, I went to see that. It was one of my first memories that I have, and I actually participated in it myself as a, ba as a ballerina when I was younger and in Mississippi. So uh, I was a soldier and a mouse for a few years, but I didn't get, we only lived there for three years. So only got to do it three times, and I was very little still. So, and now I've seen it a few times with my mother. I always listen to the soundtrack. I've played most of the score on piano at one point or another. So Nutcracker is very much an essential for Christmas for me. So final thing is the yarn calendar. I know I'm keeping it very short today, but it's late and we have an early morning here tomorrow. So day six. And I also know that a lot of people are doing longer vlogmases, but they're also showing you fun things that they're out doing. We only have one car, so when my husband's at work, I'm stuck at home. So I don't get out to do too much until the weekends. So that's when you'll probably see me doing more and maybe getting a little more film. So today's colorway is licorice. I hope that's what it said. If it's not, I don't know. Maybe the corn? I don't know. I'm hoping licorice. That's the color. Absolutely beautiful. Pinks and purples and blues. I love it. So until that, until I talk to y'all tomorrow, do a make sure heart sing for me. That's two sticks and string. Bye.